Hi there, my name is Rob Hillman. I am a registered nurse and a certified life coach, and I think today is a good day for a good day. I have a question for you today that I want to lead with, and uh, what I want to talk about today is our jobs um, as a nurse. And I want to ask you, what is it that you want to get out of your job? How do you want to feel about your job? Okay, when I ask this to people, I do onboarding as an educator, and when I ask this to new nurses coming in, I get a lot of different answers. Um, people say, you know, they want to make sure that they are taking really good care of their patients, that, you know, they are advocating for them, and that they are doing a really good job and not hurting anybody, and they want to, you know, enjoy their time with their coworkers, and, you know, I get a lot of different kinds of answers, and they're all good, valid answers to that question. And then I, what I like to talk about is that for me, my goal when I go to work is that I want to love my job, okay? When I know that that is my goal, to love my job, then it kind of puts everything into perspective for me, right? Now, what it doesn't mean is it doesn't mean that, you know, everything is perfect at my job. It doesn't mean that I don't have bad days. It doesn't mean that I don't have to deal with, you know, difficult people. It doesn't mean that everything is perfect and I've just got rose-colored glasses on and I only see the good things and ignore the bad things, right? It doesn't mean that at all. I still have to deal with all those bad days just like everyone else. They still happen. Um, but when I'm dealing with them, I get to deal with it as more of, you know, as a temporary setback, as an obstacle that I need to get through before I can get back on path to loving my job. Because I want to love my job, right? My life is better. I am happier. I am more content. I am more satisfied when I love my job. I get along with people better. I have better relationships with my peers. I have better relationships with patients that I take care of. It all is better if I love my job rather than, you know, I'm not content just with liking my job. I'm not content with tolerating my job. I'm certainly not okay with, you know, dreading going to work every day. That's just not where I want to be. And, you know, it doesn't mean that every job is going to be a job that you can love. And, you know, there's plenty of good reasons why you don't love your job if you don't. And those are worth exploring to figure out. Is there something that you can change from your point of view? Is there something you need to change on the other side and get a different job, right? There's lots of different things that might go into that equation, but if your goal is to love your job, it really makes a lot of other things really clear for you about what is it that is preventing you from loving your job. And it also helps you, you know, look at the things that you are doing and the things that you are focusing on and you can ask yourself, is this really going to help me get what I want or is it just getting in the way of what I want? right? A lot of times we get into these arguments with people or we start developing, you know, animo animosity toward people. Um, and, you know, we get, I think for a lot of nurses, or not a lot of nurses, I'm going to say some nurses, we get into this, I'll say a lot of people in general probably have this, where we get stuck on, um, you know, something happens and we want to be right, right? There's, we know, we can see that there's a problem happening and it's very clearly the other person's fault because they're being dumb or they're being rude or they're just being a bad person, whatever. And we want to show them how right we are. And we get totally focused on finding all of the reasons why we're right and why they're wrong. And if you start your brain down that path, your brain's going to find reasons, right? You ask that question, why are they wrong? Why am I right? Your brain's going to come up with answers. And they might be perfectly valid answers. Right? I'm not even saying that it's wrong, but what I would ask yourself is, is it more important to you to be right or is it more important to you to love your job? Right? Those two things, they're not necessarily mutually exclusive goals, but they are definitely different goals. And so if we can get really clear about what our priorities are, about what it is that we really want when we go to work every day, it really just helps us clear that kind of stuff up and say, okay, well, maybe you're right. Maybe this person shouldn't behave this way. Maybe they shouldn't be doing that kind of thing. <coughs> Excuse me. But if it's not, you know, helping us to get where we want to go, then why does it matter? Why are we spending our time on it? Why are we spending our energy thinking about it and finding all those reasons if it really isn't going to help us in the long run?
okay? Doesn't mean we can't do it. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying, what is it really that you want? And is the, are the things that you're doing and focusing on and spending your time and you know emotional health on really getting you what you want or not? Okay, for me again, that overarching goal is just I want to love my job no matter how hard it gets, no matter how many bad days I might have, no matter how many challenging people I might have to deal with. I want to love my job and I'm going to do what I have to do to make sure that at the end of the day I can go home and say I'm looking forward to coming back tomorrow. I like my job. I like how it fulfills me. I love the way I get to, you know, interact with with people and I love what I get to learn every day and how, you know, I'm encouraged in that way. And yes, there's bad things too, but I don't want to dwell on those. I can decide if I'm taking really good care of myself, I can, you know, go after some of those things and try and make changes if I want. Uh, but I don't have to if I don't want to either, right? Because my focus is just on making sure that I love my job. And if everybody did this, I mean, think about what it would be like at work if everyone there loved their job, right? It would be like the best place to work ever. And yes, we have no control of whether other people like their jobs or not, but we can definitely start with ourselves and we can definitely live, you know, what's that quote where you live the change you want to see, be the change that you want to see in the world, right? Show that example, set that example for people so that you can see, yes, this job is hard and guess what? I love it. Okay. I just want, it's just a little mindset thing I thought I would share um, because for me, it's been really powerful and really helpful and um, I hope it will be for you too. So I hope you guys are having a great week and I will talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.